So, on the day that we actually in real life become Premier League champions, yes. We take on the cheatingest of cheats um, in football. No, not PSG. It's the other ones. Yeah, the ones closest to home. Here we go. Hello guys and welcome to Back to Glory here with Liverpool and yes, if you haven't guessed, it's Manchester City who we face in today's episode to begin with and then we will be facing West Ham as well. I did say Lakin, I mean it will be Premier League games in today's episode because we have got through some of the cup games and as you'll see just be up above me here, Lakin, I mean, yeah, a very close one, closer than what it should be. Went to penalties this one against Watford and as you'll see... How? Um, 30 shots we had, they only had two in the whole game. We had 64% of the possession, and it ended up being a nil-nil game, like, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, but it went to penalties, and um, yeah, we got through in the penalties. It shouldn't have been as close as what it was, um, but it, that's how it, that's how it ended up anyway. Like you know what I mean. So we did put out like you know a fairly weakened side, but we still, like I say, we had 30 shots in that game, so we should have um, like got through no problem in the 90 minutes but um as for um the fa cup we then um beat um wolves two goals to one in the fa cup um the carabao cup formats changed um i didn't realize this um it used to be two legs in the semi-finals but it is only um one leg so we are in the final and yes guess who we're going to be playing Everton, yeah, we're going to be playing those guys, like, so it's going to be a Merseyside final, um, it's not been a Merseyside final in the League Cup, if memory serves, now, I was two at the time, but just going on, like, my history of Liverpool, I think it was 84, I think it was, um, 84, was it 86, was 86 the FA Cup, uh, yeah, anyway, um, there we are, guys, um, we like I say we're in the Premier League. We got, we are facing Man City. We do have obviously the advantage over them, but I'm sure they want to get rid of like you know that zero in our L column and make sure that it's like saying a one after this one. And then we do face West Ham, who aren't playing particularly um, too badly um, in this one. Um, yeah, they 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 started off like if you remember the season quite well. They've slipped down a little bit, but they're still up and around like those like, European spots as a possibility. So we're going to be careful with regards to that one as well. Right then. Here we go. Just before we get into the Man City game, there is some transfer news. Yes, Genie Wijnaldum has been sold for 38 million. He has gone to Frankfurt. I don't know if you can actually see that. No, I'm just looking over here. You can't see that. But um, yeah, Genie Wijnaldum is now um, at Antrakt, Antrakt Frankfurt. Um, that's where he has gone for 38 million. Um, and with that money, um, with a little bit extra money on top of that, we went and brought in Ruben Neves here um, from Wolves for 47 million, which I think um, um, is probably a bit of a steal, really. But yeah, for 47 million we managed to like you know get him and him he has come in to replace a gene and 25 years of age we all know about ruben neves you know with the wolves player pretty good he has sort of semi been linked with liverpool um but um yeah um i thought why not We're, we'll get him in um i put in a cheeky bid and they accepted um so there we go so here are the two lineups we are at the empty ad um yeah that's where we are um sorry um having a digs at man city gonna have digs at man city they'd do exactly the same if, if if it was the other way around wouldn't they um but yeah we are at the etihad um stadium um and, and nevers isn't going to start this one i thought it's like it's too you know big of a game like to just throw him straight in but he is on the bench so he could possibly come on um at some point we have got allison in goal we're gonna have to play um, Kiana Hoover um, at um, right back because um, both of our right backs, main right backs, Trent and um, Reese James are both injured. Yeah, so <laughs> a bit of a blow. So I brought in Kiana Hoover. Uh, I could have played Joe Gomez there, but I just thought I want that strong centre back partnership um, with it being like Manchester City. So I'm going to leave him alongside like Luis Felipe, Andy Robertson at left back. We got Fabinho going to like sit um, in front of the the back four. Then we have got Henderson, Naby Keita, Sadio Mane, Anthony out on that right hand side, who's having like you know really really good season. And then Bobby Firmino is up top. As for um, yeah Manchester City, as you can see Harry Kane leading the line for them with the captain's armband on they've also got Nicolas Pepe obviously Arsenal you know what I mean so Leroy Sané yeah he's still there like he's not moved on to Bayern Munich or anything like that Phil Foden De Bruyne Rodri 
yeah, you know, expect like you know these like sort of size. Edin Militao and Alvarez is the is the two two centre backs. Interesting. Edison in goal. Max Ahrens from Norwich. Um, um, is it Max Ahrens? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, at Norwich. Um, and then Pellegrini um is coming in. Luca per Pellegrini um in at left back there for them. So interesting. On the bench for them, we got Guerrero still there. Guanduan. Um, they've got Hakimi's there. Um, okay, uh, see anyone else? Cute miners, yeah, okay. It's gonna be a tough one. Um, I'm sure that, that, like I say, they want to put like you know that um, that one in our L column. So let's like hopefully, fingers crossed that that doesn't happen. So, first highlight then as the rain is pouring down here in Manchester, which is it's known for, um, as Man City are on the ball here with Militao. Alvarez now puts this one out here to Aaron's. He's got plenty of space to pick out a man in the box here, but he actually goes to the edge and it's that kid man, Kevin De Bruyne. We don't leave him unmarked, do you? Like, you know what I mean? But luckily for us, um, his, like, sort of, like, his sights were a little bit off there. So that was it. That was the only highlight of the first half. It's very uneventful. As you can see, we've only had the one shot. They've only had the one shot on target from the seven that they've had. So, yeah, um, very much maybe a midfield sort of stalemate at the moment. Um, nothing really sort of, like, you know, happening really in the game. Um, but if it stays like that, fine. Um, I'd be fine with it. Like, you know what I mean? Wouldn't be totally happy. Obviously, three points is what I'd be happy with, but um, at least it wouldn't be a loss. But like, we've got 45 minutes to, to see if we can turn this around so we've reached the point where there's only 15 minutes left in this game and, and we've not had any highlights this game has really been a stalemate um in, in regards to that so but i'm going to make a, a few changes you can see anthony is struggling a bit for like you know for for sort of like fitness and then we've also got Sadio Mane and Bobby Firmino having a terrible game really um, so yeah I need to make some changes so Asensio is definitely going to be coming on for Mane, Lotaro Martinez is going to come on for, for Bobby as well I'm going to leave Anthony for the time being um, don't really want to necessarily make all three changes so it's a corner put in by Anthony. It's coming out here to Jordan Henderson. Just stabs it back in. Joe Gomez now still up there from obviously from this corner. He's holding onto the ball. He's got two players to get past here. Finds Henderson. It's back to Joe Gomez. Picks out um, Asensio on the far side. Not able to do anything with it. It's come back here to Anthony. Like, again, Joe Gomez is staying out on that right-hand side. I've not put him out there. And he decided to go for goal. A little cheeky, maybe sort of chip there. But it didn't really work out, did it? So we've got a free kick now. Uh, down in this bottom like, um, left-hand corner. Andy Robertson now like finds Cater. Chance here for maybe Asensio to, to use those fresh legs. But unfortunately, is dispossessed. And now it's a chance for Man City to go the other way. But we've intercepted. It's Anthony now. The Brazilian's gone for this. Oh, it's Brazilian versus Brazilian. It's Edison like dives across his goal, but it goes wide. And there we go. Yeah, a very uneventful game um, regarding it. Um, I suppose we could say that we will probably be the happier of the two sides and the fact that we've managed to get a draw. But then again, maybe Man City are because it means that they're like you know not not taking a loss. I don't know. Either team probably not happy with the result. To be to be fair, it's not really done either team favours I mean the fact that we've still kept our like you know unbeaten record I suppose is something but um, yeah we weren't at full strength so that's something I suppose um, but um, yeah um, there we go nil nil sorry guys so some of the games obviously that played we were the last game of the like the day to be like you know playing we got Arsenal beating Chelsea and um, 3-0 which is in real life going to be the the FA Cup final um yeah um surprising as Arsenal result over Man City wasn't it like you know it's like I thought it was quite funny how Arteta came out and said that um within the space of like you know a few days he's ended up beating the two best teams in like in Europe like you know what I mean so because obviously they beat us as well like but we really got nothing to play for at the moment have we so yeah I can understand them beating us but yeah Man City yeah interesting but there we go anyway back to you know virtual um, life rather than real life and Tottenham getting a result over Fulham in the in the London derby. You've got Leicester beating Leeds, Manchester City, Manchester City, Manchester United. I should say absolutely destroying Bristol. Which yeah, you could maybe understand that's why they are sitting in bottom of the table. Newcastle a good result over Bournemouth, I suppose. But then again, you know Bournemouth are down there, like you know, and they have got a new manager. I think who's took over. Oh yeah, um, the, the Leeds manager in real life, um, Marcelo Bielsa, has is, is took over um, at Bournemouth. So um, in 
place of Steven Gerrard there. Uh, Norwich beating Everton, good result for Norwich there. We've got Southampton beating Brighton, West Ham with a result over Aston Villa. That's who we're obviously going to be taking on next. West Ham that is, not Villa. Um, and yeah, let's see um, if we can get ourselves three points against the Hammers. So, yeah, can we get three points here at Anfield? We have changed a few players around. Good to see that Reese James is back. That is something that I'm pleased about. Um, Alisson is in goal. We've got Joe Gomez and Felipe is going to play like obviously as a centre back and then Andy Robertson who's actually going to take the captain's armband for this one we've got Ruben Neves going to give him his debut um, here alongside Ben Tencourt. and Bobby Firmino is going to sit behind um, Martinez for this one Asensio because Sadio Mane just didn't have a very good game um, against um, City and, and he's had a few off games recently as well so I thought I'll stick him on the bench and maybe he might suddenly like, realise oh my, my place is under threat um, so yeah and then we're going to play Almada um, out on that um, side because unfortunately Anthony has now picked up a knock in, in training so yeah we're picking up a few injuries here and there nothing like massively serious but they're just enough to upset the flow of like you know keeping that sort of team unity at the moment um, as for um, West Ham we've got to go first Mr Donnarumma yes they have got Donnarumma in goal like for them um, yeah interesting sort of like you know players um, in the, that West Ham have got and they've started off really well like I say in this campaign so this is not going to be an easy game at all so first highlight here after around about sort of 10 minutes is West Ham on the ball with the throw in and with Ryan, Ryan Bertrand now being pressured like and we've managed to like nick the ball off him great ball forward there and we've got Latoro Martinez is in here and that's a great strike and what a great start in the first opening 10 minutes the roar of the Anfield crowd maybe is like you know got us fired up for this one because we were a little bit sort of like lacklustre against Man City but yeah um, the, the, the Anfield crowd is certainly it's Almada that actually wins that ball great ball forward there then like to pick out a um, Latoro and what a great finish as well um, so good to see so we've got a corner now on this forehand side as Almada puts this one across it's in maybe a chance there but it's actually comes to Felipe it's going to come back here to Almada got a second bite of the tree he tries to put that one in but unfortunately wasn't able to pick him out Felipe Anderson can now pick out Pablo Fornals but Andy Robertson there is to nicely tidy things up at the back Bobby Firmino now picks this up in the midfield. Like finds um, Reese James. James now going to cut inside. Finds a great ball over the top. Chance for Asensio. Maybe he's took it down. Plays it back here to Andy Robertson. Looks for possible options, and there is that option as Thiago Almada coming in. Great for him to like get on the score sheet. He's only his second goal of the season, but he he, he has started this game really well, Almada. But a lovely ball in from Andy Robertson. What we expect from him, you know what I mean? Uh, he just waits there. Looks for the option. Plays his one across unmarked at the far post is Almada and wow 2 0. So it's Gomez here with the throw, binds Bobby back to Joe, puts it into the box. It's coming across, there's a chance for Asensio, and he's managed to sneak in behind. I think the West Ham for fan it, players, I should say, not fans, uh, but the players have thought, oh, that's just going out for a goal kick, like, you know, but Asensio was quick to react. He like got him round the back here and has given us that three goal advantage now, like, you know what I mean? But yeah, great ball in from Joe Gomez here, plays it all the way across. Even the keeper there just like let it like sort of like bounce past him. And then suddenly, oh crap, Asensio's there and um, yeah. So what a what a change we are in this game against Man <laughs> compared to Man City. Maybe it's just the home advantage. I don't know, but as Benton Core plays this one out here to find Reece James, puts this one across. Andy Robertson, actually, I don't think he was going for goal, but it actually came to the feet of Asensio. Um, but just yeah, that was a bit of a strange one. So we're here at half time and it's a very convincing first half performance. Three goals to nil. As you can see, West Ham really haven't troubled us at all. They've only had one shot in the game. Yeah, they. Not good at maybe travelling, I don't know. But yeah, we, we are totally in control this one. We have made Anfield a fortress, you know what I mean, at the end of the day. And um, yeah, they, I think I would, don't want to tempt fate, but I'd, I'd say that we've got three points here. So we've got a throw-in right on the halfway line here as Reese James finds Benton Core, just turns this around. Here is Ruben Neves. He's been quite quiet in this game, to be honest. Finds Armada, though. Armada goes to the far side, tries to find Asensio. It's come down to Neves, finds it to Andy Robertson. Obviously, Neves is just trying to find his feet here in the Liverpool shirt. Andy Robertson now has surged forward. Looking for maybe another chance here. He's actually hit Donnarumma. Uh, don't know if you knew much about that one, but um, yeah, interesting um, sort of attempt. <laughs> And we're having to good pressure from us. We forced this all the way back to the Italian keeper, Donnarumma. 
played forward now and they're going to try and like work this again like you know go down this other side with Felipe Anderson on the ball Bertrand now has got in behind here we've got two players on him but he's managed to find Felipe Anderson he's gone into the box good save from Alisson Becker and it's cleared away so a chance for us now as Gomez throws his one to the box Bobby Firmino has been taken down surely that's a penalty yeah it is so we've got Latoro Martinez over this one and blasts it into the bottom corner. I haven't actually made him like our penalty taker now as well. Like, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, he's, he's um, yeah, not disappointed, has he? So I'm just going to make a couple of changes with around about sort of 10 minutes left of the game. I don't want to like get Reese James obviously getting an injury again. He's looking a little bit sort of tired. So Joe Gomez is going to slot into that right hand side. We're going to bring Lowen on to um, in the centre back role. Um, also the other change that I'm going to make is Benton Core is going to come off just to bring Jordan Henderson on. Just really just for some fresh legs in the middle of the park. It's not like Benton Core's had a bad game or anything like that. It's just really for some fresh legs. Long kick here from Donnarumma, but well intercepted by Andy Robertson. But it's come down here to Martinez. Can Andy Robertson like stop him from getting a, a ball in? Well, yeah, he has with Ruben Neves helping out. And, well, interesting way of clearing it. But he's around Joe Gomez. Um, Gomez can now go down this right-hand side. Maybe cut it inside. He's got players like available. Here's Bobby now on the ball. Henderson plays this one out to the left-hand side. Asensio loads of space. Andy Robertson's in more space. Surely he can pick someone out in the box here, but he's left the ball behind. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but Asensio now has picked up it up and plays it across. It's a possibility of a chance. It's gone in. It's Thiago Amalda. Um, West Ham fan, um, players probably maybe saying there was maybe a foul in there. It looked like a possible foul. I'm not sure, but it was weird how like this all sort of like came about, but it's Asensio picking this ball up here, like I say, on that left-hand side. Comes across here is that a foul on Diop um not sure I think Martinez there maybe I think if you're a West Ham you you you'd argue but at the end of the day it's number five and that's the end of the game but yeah um should should the fifth goal have stood I don't know but it has it was a good performance at a bounce back from the Man City game West Ham pretty poor really considering what a great start they've had for the season like but they've only managed to get the one shot on goal um in the end but we had 31 shots in that game five yeah counting as they hit the back of the net so um there we go yeah sitting still on top of the um, Premier League after half of the games have been played here um and we are six points ahead of Manchester City who got a very very late goal uh, 94th minute there against Chelsea but um, obviously they are keeping the pressure on Bournemouth getting a result against Leeds Bielsa there against his former um employers yeah I'm sure he will have a massive smile on his face um, regarding that one and um, we got Brighton and Norwich with a nil nil Bristol City with a I suppose a good result but Burnley yeah they're down there as well yeah but Bristol need as many points as what they can get um, but yeah I suppose that's something Leicester getting a result there 2-0 they're starting to slowly get a bit of momentum to get them away from that relegation zone after like such a poor start to the season we know our result and then we got Wolves beating like New, um, Newcastle three goals to one and then the London derby yes New, Newcastle what am I on about <laughs> Tottenham there <laughs> <laughs> against Arsenal well Tottenham fans will be very very pleased with that one and it's it's good for us I suppose in the fact that Arsenal were pressuring us but that's like a bit of a, a massive blow and Tottenham didn't actually start the season that well um but yeah they, they've got themselves right up into fifth space in um, fifth place I should say get my words out put my teeth back in um but yeah Chelsea have just noticed they're like not having the best of like seasons really down in 12th spot there like and that defeat to Man City won't have done them any favors at all but there we are guys two Premier League games done um yeah could have done maybe better against City but it's a point we'll take it it's away from home um and we keep that um zero in that L column and that's the great thing about that so yeah take it easy guys catch you next time yeah and um stay safe out there Dave from Moomonger Gaming, signing off. Cheers.